Greetings comrades, Multigame Master one reporting in and welcome back to Let's Play 100% Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, we completed everything in Mayhem Temple, for now at the least, and in this episode, we're going to travel to our next destination within the Isle of Hags. Now you may recall from a few episodes ago that we potentially have a dead end at this point, but if we move along this ledge here and past that Snapdragon, needless to say, we will find another passageway that can potentially put us on the right path again. Here's another signpost. Magic Globo creatures are usually found near Mumbo Jumbo and Humbo Wumba. Hmm, that's interesting. We'll have to make a note of that. Plus it makes our search easier. Okay, up this bridge we go. We're now in the plateau. Glitter Gulch Mine. I reckon that's our world too. Wait, did I just see something white? What is... Bad memories fill my brain. I was not quite expecting that. That's the biggest beehive I've ever seen in this game. But at least bees aren't guarding it. And there is a way to get inside, but I wonder what is inside. Hopefully it's not a swarm of bees. Let's go in, comrades. Let's soldier on. Oh, please let there not be bees. I hear a bee, I hear a bee, I hear a bee, I hear a bee. Oh, you seem friendly. Hi there, Big Bear. I'm Honey Bee, Mistress of the Honey. Aww, why couldn't you be Mistress of the Jiggies instead? Because that would have made your quest too easy. However, I can grant you extra energy units in return for empty honeycombs. I suppose that's better than nothing. Don't be so rude, Kazooie. Oh, sorry, Wasp Lady. I'm Honeybee, a bee, not a wasp. Right you are, Hornet Girl. Oh, Kazooie. You have enough honeycombs for two more units of energy. Do you want to trade? Yes. Sure, honey. Toss your honeycombs over here then, Big Bear. I think she might be crushing on Banjo. <laughs> Here's your extra energy. And with that, Honey Bee extends our health by two units. We need five extra honeycombs for the next unit. Once we have that amount, we'll come back to it. There are 25 extra honeycomb pieces to be found in the game, and we've already found a few, but we're going to keep an eye out for the rest. Let's see what else is here. Jam Jars! It's time to learn a new move. Fire Eggs! Now's the time for you to learn! Shooting eggs that crackle and burn! We now have fire eggs. Gaze at their burning, crackly fieriness. A brand new egg you have acquired? Now I'll tell you how they're fired. Tap left bumper or right bumper to get your eggs on view. Tap it again until it's right for you. That'll be all. Dismissed. <laughs> that gets funny every time. Ah. Uh. Okay, moving on. So we now have fire eggs. And they can be used to burn things like enemies and such. Over here on the right side of the plateau, we'll have two split up pads, an ugger that deserve to die, and two switches that can be pressed by Banjo and Kazooie individually. We can't do anything about them, but we'll come back to it at some other point. Once we find a way to get Banjo and Kazooie to split up. I don't understand why they don't do that in the first place. But it always seems as though that they're together most of the time anyway. A fire egg switch. Let's see what happens if we shoot a fire egg at it. It opens up that passageway over there, but we're not going to explore it just yet. We'll check it out some other time. Let's see, anything else to be found around here? Feathers. Well, I think we're pretty good on feathers. Hey, another one of these altars. I have already opened this door for you. Oh, I didn't notice that for a second. Actually, I did. But that's what happens whenever you interact with the altar and the world is open. Okay, onwards to World 2. Welcome to World 2, Glitter Gulch Mine. This is basically a labyrinth of mines that's filled with rich amounts of metal materials. 
Look at all those gems over there. It's all shiny. We'll start things off by getting this Cheeto page. Five pages at last. Come and see me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain, and I'll tell you your first secret cheat. Well, technically, we already have learned a secret cheat from Heggy, but thanks, Cheeto. We're not going to worry about that until later, though. In fact, we'll finish things up with a Glitter Gulch Mine and then head back. Here are new shoes. These are the Springy Step Shoes, but you'll have to come and find me before you can use them. Keep in mind, guys, we're not going to be able to activate those shoes for quite a while, so don't worry about them just yet. Let's start things off with using Turbo Trainers. Press this switch, which has an image of a gate on it. I reckon that with the switch pressed down, we can open up some kind of passageway around here. But where, oh where? Right there! But it's not going to be so easy because we have 35 seconds to get to that part before the gates close. Needless to say, you can run on water with the Turbo Trainers. Okay, we're getting close. Just about 20 seconds left, but we'll get there in record time. By the way, that's a brand new enemy right there. That's Billy Bob. We made it. After going through that part and reaching the waterfall cavern, we have our first Jiggy right over here. Alright, making good progress. We already have our first Jiggy. Oh, a brand new enemy. That's a TNT crate, and whenever you get close to it, it will shoot dynamite towards you, so be careful. There is a way that you can destroy those TNT crates, but I'll show you in a bit. Let's see, anything down here? Ooh, I see a treble clef. Let's get that real quick. There we go. Alright. Anything else? No? Okay. So you can easily destroy the TNT crates with eggs. It takes two fire eggs to destroy them. You can also use regular eggs as well, but fire eggs are better to use. Let's see what's in this tank. Another one of Cheeto's lost pages. Six in the bag. Okay, let's get out of here because I think we can find nothing else in here. Onwards we go. Let's see if we can make our way back to the star. Hey there, Billy Bob. How you doing? You going down, partner? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Had to do it. In fact, I'll probably do that every time we come across Billy Bob. Okay. Let's see what's off to the left here. Oh, Billy Bob, is that you? I thought I heard a Billy Bob. Minecart. I reckon that these mines have been abandoned a long time ago. If only there was a way we could fix this. Hey, Billy Bob! Oh, I just can't stop. Okay, let's see what's in here. Fuel Depot. More TNT crates. Or at least one in the area. Notes for us to grab. What's this? A moving box? Leap! I'm trapped in this mine by that block tunnel! Leap! So apparently the box is moving and there's something inside, but it can't really go anywhere because of these rocks guarding the way. And you'll see right there that there's a TNT barrel, but we really can't do anything about it. We'll have to find a way to ignite the TNT barrel. And before you guys ask, no, you cannot use fire eggs on the TNT barrels. They don't work. Okay, let's head back. Billy Bob! Oh man. I can tell that things are going to be fun. Howdy, partner! Another one of those skill honeycombs? Not going to worry about that. Here's a global right here, and there's Wumba's wigwam, but we're actually going to worry about that a little later. Right now, let's check out the rest of the mines. You can potentially find yourselves lost in here, but as long as you follow the tracks, you should have no problem whatsoever. In this crate, we have springy step shoes that we can't use yet. Up here, we have more notes. Pretty cool. Mumble pad and a boulder with a jiggy image on it. I reckon we're going to need Mumbo's help for this one. Let's see what's in here. 
crushing shed. Oh god, I hate this part. There's a button over there that we can press, but we have to get past those crushers. And I'm going to let you guys know right now that to this day, I have not found a way to get past this without getting crushed. So if I take damage here, I apologize. But it really doesn't hurt too much. Actually, can I get past this with the Wonder Wing? No, I cannot. Ow. That hurts. That hurts. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, god. Okay, so I only got hit once, but that's okay. Because, like I said before, the Crushers don't really do that much harm to you. In fact, you think that if you got underneath the Crushers, you would die instantly, but... But no, it's a different story. Also, you don't want to go to that grinder over there, otherwise it will hurt. I reckon we can use the grinder to shred this boulder over here to pieces. But like I said before, we're gonna need Mumbo's help. So let's try to find him if we can. Billy Bob? No Billy Bob? Okay. Moving onwards. A mining we will go. A mining we will go. Hi oh a Dario, a mining we will go. Let's see what's here. Billy Bob. Hey Billy Bob. Jam jars. Time to learn a new move. Bill drill. This makes breaking so much fun. Now listen up to how it's done. Leap high in the air and then hold left trigger or right trigger. Watch Kazooie spin and drill with her head. Finding it tough, huh? Looks like you need some rations. That'll be all. Dismiss. Again, Jam Jars? You really need to fix up those hatches. By the way, that's one thing I forgot to mention. Like before in Banjo-Kazooie, in the case of Bottles and Brentilda, whenever you approach Jam Jars with low health, you can always find him in his silos, and he'll fill up your gauge for you. So it's actually pretty cool. The build drill can be used to unscrew rocks such as these, or maybe not unscrew them, but break them apart. And you will find prizes within them. So we want to keep a lookout for these types of rocks. More notes along here. I wonder what's at the top. Ooh, a hut. Maybe someone's home? Let's find out. I hear a Jinjo somewhere, but we'll try to grab it soon. Hmm. Prospector's hut. Hey there. Howdy! Who might you be? I'm Bill! I'll bet your other name is Goat related. What is it? Goat Bar Bill? Klondike Bill? Nope. Bullion Bill is my name. Thought so. What's up, Bill? My rodent partner, Dilberta, went looking for Goat, but she's been gone far too long. We'll keep a lookout for her. Not so fast, Banjo. Make sure he makes it worth our while. Oh, okay. Can we have a prize if we find her? You city folk are all alike. I wonder where she could be. Eek! I'm sure I came in through a tunnel. You guys were called Dilberta from before, right? Well, we are still going to find a way to set her free. In fact, with the bell drill, I reckon that we can now save her and get her to run back home. But we're going to worry about that some other time. For now, let's just keep moving. Um, let's see. Oh, I think I remember seeing a boulder somewhere back at the start that we can destroy with the bell drill. Let's see if we can find it. Hey, Billy Bob. I can't stop. Jeez. Beehive. Not gonna worry about that. Ah, here we go. Let's destroy the boulder. It's pretty handy. Although, this really must hurt Kazooie's beak. Ordinance storage entrance. Well, let's go in. Stop! I can't let you go in there! Why not? I've learned the Brigo Blaster. We got a real problem in there! And shooting's not the answer! 
Okay, we promise not to shoot. Nope, you're not going in till you can defend yourself without shooting. Okay, fine. Guess we'll have to find jam jars for this one. And there he is, right over here. Time to learn a new move. Beak Bayonet. Another use for the Feather Freak makes good use of her pointy beak. The bad guys know that it's no joke. Just press X to give him a poke. That'll be all. Dismissed. At least you didn't smash your head on the hatch. Alright, moving onwards. Let's see if we can get in now. You've learned a beak attack, huh? Sure have, partner. Well, maybe you can help me out here. A real nasty bunch of TNT sticks have escaped from their box and are threatening to blow up my mind. Don't worry, we'll go in there and blast them. No! Shoot one and the whole mine will explode! You'll have to try and defuse them somehow. Anything else? Yep. You'll have to be quick. Cause when you defuse the first one, the others will probably start their detonation timers. Okay. Let's get in there and defuse those bombs. Ordinance storage. This is considered to be more of a mini-game challenge. What you have to do is to find and defuse all 15 of those TNTs that you see. You need to do it within 200 seconds. And I'm gonna let you guys know right now that this is a maze and I have struggled with this in the past. So if I fail the first time around, which probably won't happen, then just bear with me. Defuse the bomb, thank you. Also, another thing to note, you cannot shoot the TNT at all. You can only defuse them with the big bayonet attack. If you do shoot one, then the whole mine will explode, as Bully and Bill said. Okay, we have 10. We're about a third of the way there. More of them in here? Billy Bobs, I don't have time to converse with you. Ow! Take that. Alright. You die too. None of you guys drop health? I'm doing pretty bad at this. Usually I don't have this amount of trouble. But hopefully I can get things done in time. Okay, seven. Next one, next one, next one. Where's the next one? Gosh, I really can't think of much to say while we're doing this. I'm actually trying to concentrate. But I can talk and concentrate at the same time. Thanks for the help, buddy. Okay. More over here. Two-thirds of the way there. Five left. And let's see, which way, which way, which way? This way. Billy Bob, get out of my way. Thank you. Three left, three left, three left. Where, 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 oh, where are they? Here's another one. Hey, Come on. Thank you. Okay. Less than 100 seconds left. Need to really speed things up. Can't let the whole mind explode. Okay, I think the last one should be up there. Too many Billy Bobs everywhere. Okay, is the last one here? It is! Banjo, Kazooie, work with me here. Thank you. Much obliged to you, partners. How obliged? Are we talking a reward here? Well, all I got is this funny-shaped nugget. I reckon you can have that. And after completion of that mini game, there's the jiggy that we can pick up outside of the ordinance storage. We're actually gonna make our way back there, pick that up, and then end the episode. Because we're running out of time as it is. So let's see, where's the way back? I have a feeling that we need to go up someplace. No, it's not this way. Like I said before guys, this place is pretty maze-like. Actually, what if we make our way back in here? is the way out this way and then if we go through here oh this looks familiar we should be getting close to the entrance there it is alright job well done and now we can pick up the jiggy
No six of TNT are going to blow up the mine today. And with that guys, we're out of time for this episode, so we're gonna stop here. In the next episode, we are going to continue exploring the rest of Glitter Gulch Mine. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and until the next episode, this is Multigame Master 1, over and out. See you later comrades!